opening statement, Coach, and then we can go to questions. Uh, you know, I think that um, obviously we're thankful to have had a great experience. Um, we're thankful to all the effort that got, went into so many different um, people behind the scenes to make this tournament go. Um, you know, I think there was some great things, obviously really fun to see um, Gabriela Jaquez and how hard she plays and her be rewarded for that. Um, you know, but also a lot of learning moments. And, you know, I, I'm very thankful that we came out of this um, high level field 2-0. Um, but so much room to grow, and uh, you know, I'm, you know, obviously we really have to do a better job taking care of the basketball um, to to play the way we want to play, no matter how much the other team creates chaos. Um, but uh, lots to celebrate, but also lots of room to grow. Um, coming off of last night's big win, uh, did it cross your mind? Were you concerned at all about a, a potential letdown against Niagara? Well, I think I'm always concerned about that. But I think the really good thing for us last night was, um, you know, and lots of people ask me, oh, did you celebrate? Did you have, you know, water everywhere? I was like, no, we expected to win and we treated it as such, which I think helped us with such a short turnaround. That we're not going to let our highs get too high and our lows get too low. Um, we obviously want to recognize the area that we uh, areas that we grew last night and that they accomplished something that was a great mile uh, marker for our program. Um, but at the same time, today is just another opportunity, um, you know, to give to each other, to play with each other. Um, you know, I read a text from one of our players. Um, about just how much she loves our team's energy and how much she misses being a part of it and being on the bench. And I just want us to play out of gratitude. And, uh, and hopefully out of that gratitude, we learn to be a really tough and together team. Coach, uh, Women's Hoops World, Sue Favor, uh, what did it mean to be able to get some of your reserves some more playing time and, and get everybody into rotation today? Well, I think obviously you know, just physically with such a short turnaround, less than 24 hours, as well as just emotionally, I think that's a really good thing. And, and we've got a lot of bench players that would be starters on a lot of other top 25 teams. And so they just need repetition and they need experience. You know, obviously someone like Izzy, who's just paid such a price, but Christine Walla, Amanda Muse, um, some of those things I just think are really good. And just our guard rotations, um, being able to have pretty much everybody play about 20 minutes, uh, you know, when you have opportunities like that, you got to take them. But this, and the style of this game was going to require that anyways. And so, but I think it's even accentuated when, uh, you know, when there's a, you know, a situation like the score the way it was. And for Gabriella, all 11 Bruins got on the board today. Can you talk a little bit about team chemistry and how you guys mesh out there? Yeah, um, like Coach Corey said, we knew it was going to be a, a tough game, kind of wild, but you know, just moving the ball, um, getting good shots was a lot of fun. And then when Amanda was in, Riz was like, let's get some paint touches and let's really try to find Amanda. Amanda runs the floor really well. So getting her the ball inside, you know, just no brainer, she'll score it. So it's just a lot of fun to play with my team. And just, can you talk about your performance tonight and how you were feeling? Yeah, I was feeling good. Um, <laughs> I think that my style of play kind of complements that because I just like to run up and down the court and make layups, and that's what happened today. And then just also find the open person. Um, they were spraying out, the lane was wide open, so I took it. <laughs> uh, from the Daily Bruin, Grace Whitaker. Coach, you began with a 27 to five uh, lead after the first quarter. This early run has been a trend in most, if not all of the games so far this season. How has taking the first run of the game been emphasized and how has the initial in advantage helped you later on in games this season? Well, I think it puts us in the driver's seat, really, you know, puts a lot more pressure on our opponents. Um, you know, and I think it's, what I'm really proud of is I think it shows their mental and emotional ability to prepare. And they've been really good. And now the next championship habit is sustaining. You're not gonna be perfect. I'm not gonna say there's gonna be zero lapses, but we need to not have big swings. You know, have one quarter where we give up 24 points, you know, or something of that nature, you know. So I think, um, you know, I, I think our team really does do a good job. Um, no matter who the opponent, no matter what's happening, no matter what's in front of us, no, <laughs> knowing, <coughs> how we need to prepare. And quite frankly, that's a, a real a, a testament to our assistant coaches who do the scouting reports and get those ready, especially in short turnarounds. But 
Uh, I, I think that we've proven that we are a very good preparation team and we know how to come out ready to play night in and night out. And now we just got to take that next step. Gabriella, you've touched on your performance today, but can you talk a little bit about how you've noticed your growth as a player so far uh, in your college career? I think that um, just putting a lot of work into the off season, off season uh, especially with my shot and just knowing when to drive my first step um, has really helped a lot. But also just having that one year under my belt um, just makes the game go a little bit slower. Um, so I think coming in freshman year, I just wanted to go really fast, really fast. But <laughs> now it, it's kind of slowing down for me and I have more patience. You know, I just love this about the Hawkes uh, family and the Bruins, but you know, I just they all, the, everybody in her family and her brother's doing this in the NBA. He did it when he was at Bruin. Um, that's how, you know, Gabriella plays um, basketball for us, even Marcos and how he plays football. But what I love about um, Gabriella is that she makes winning plays and she doesn't care how it's come and she's always going to look to get better. And you're seeing that manifestation about her selflessness and her hard work on her individual skill development. Um, pay off this year and I just love that about her and the way she competes. Coach, can you, I'm sorry. Did you? No, I'm saying things. <laughs> <laughs> Coach, can you talk about how London's speed and offensive and defensive abilities uh, led to a performance like hers today? She was uh, over 20 points as well. Yeah, I mean, you know, this points were as long as for the possessions that we didn't turn it over we're going to get scores and that's you know I, I think we could have done so much better but I thought London was under control um, you know one of the things we really challenged her in a response from yesterday is uh, when she drives to really read the second line and make the next pass but also I thought she passed on shots yesterday and she has the green light she's put the work in she's a great shooter and so and, and she played the point for us some today so I just thought overall um, London not only responded really well from yesterday, but she stepped up in areas for us um, in, a, in a really productive way. Gabriella, can you also speak on London's big performance today? What have you noticed from her, her the growth of her <coughs> game, and what does she bring to the team? Yeah, London um, is just so fun to play with. Um, I love passing her the ball because <laughs> I know it's going in three, you know. Um, but just the way she plays, she plays so hard and her defense is really good. I know when I used to play against her, I hated when she guarded me because she's just really annoying on the defensive side. Mm -hmm. um, so just having her hands on getting all those deflections, getting in those offensive rebounds too, and sneaking in there is just really helpful for the team, but also just her shooting ability is just really amazing. And also because people don't want to help off of her, it helps the whole team. Um, mm -hmm. Things true. become more open. Coach, your uh, sophomore group has had uh, a good amount of success already, yeah. uh, leading the Pac-12 in scoring. Um, when there was so much hype around them during the time they all committed and the number one uh, recruiting class, what's it like as a coach to see them living up to some of the, the hype and potential and having these career performances? Well, uh, you know, the, the greatest thing about them is they don't care about their hype. and. I think you wouldn't have seen their growth the way it is if they cared about hype or rankings or numbers and all that all that is is uh, potential and I'm great it's great to celebrate it I'm glad for that but I like even more um, when they get in the gym on their own when they study film on their own when they commit to do the little things when they make a play for somebody else and uh, that's what I'm most proud of I'm proud of growth I'm proud of selflessness I'm proud of the gritty hard work and you know, if, if they'll protect that, um, they'll do special things at UCLA as a group. And, you know, I'm so thankful for them, um, but I just think they're scratching the surface. And, you know, I think we played, that group specifically is playing really well, And it, but I'll tell you, they've got a lot more room to grow. And that's what I love about them is that they're gonna wanna hear that. They're gonna want us to coach them hard and to demand excellence. And, uh, you know, that's what makes them so special is their desire to truly be great. And everybody wants to be great, but they're not usually willing to put in the work. That group's willing to put in the work. Jumping back to the game today, uh, you had a relatively significant height advantage uh, this afternoon. That led uh, to UCLA having a 64-10, uh, 64 to 10 points in the paint advantage. 
Um, how did you look to use that height advantage, and how did the team succeed at getting looks inside? Uh, honestly, I didn't think we did it as well as we could have. Mm -hmm. um, you know, they're going to trap and press, and that's the reason they do it, is so that it makes it harder to find that advantage. Um, you got to make quality passes, and you have to do less off the dribble and more off the pass to really take advantage of that height difference. And, um, you know, at some ways it's just really difficult because if they're going to pressure and, and, and do the things that they're going to do, you just have to go and play numbers break. And sometimes that's going to be harder to find post-ups. But I thought we did it on offensive rebounding. And a few times when we got defensive stops and got out and ran, that was going to be a good time to find our posts inside. But I thought we did an okay job. But some of that had to do with the style of the game. Gabs, uh, the team has established a uh, trend so far of taking a first run of the game. Uh, today it was 23-0 uh, before Niagara scored. How has taking that first run been emphasized to you? Um, and how do you think that initial advantage benefits you all later in the game? I think that it's just really important that we come out ready to play and that comes with the preparation and the confidence we have in each other. Um, so just coming out, all hitting shots is just really good. We have a lot of weapons on this team and we know that and we're aware of it and it's just good to set the tone for the game. Although we have some dips throughout the game, that's what we're trying to get better at. Um, but it will come and yeah, just really happy for our team. With the height advantage that your team had today, how is feeding the paint, attacking the rim uh, emphasized and how do you think you all accomplished that today? Yeah, like Coach Corey said, this game was really fast and so it's kind of hard to find the uh, the post players posting up because you have numbers break, um, but that's why we got a lot of layups too. Um, I think that we knew it was going to be like that mm -hmm. and we just kind of took what was given to us. Coach uh, Angela Dugalic has been back this season. Yeah. She really stepped up. Uh, how have you noticed her adjust to playing again? What has she been bringing to the group so far? Honestly, uh, today I came in really wanting to get London and Angela going. Um, I thought they were a little bit uh, down on their offensive part of their game and, and I, I really wanted to I ran plays for you know You couldn't run a lot of plays, but right off the bat trying to get Angela touches and she was able to do that on a couple of out-of-bounds plays and um, You know, and I think London the same way, but Angela's just I, I just think she's just hitting her stride and we have to remember This is her first full season of college basketball and so I'm challenging her to give herself grace just to keep learning She's so talented. I mean, she showed it. She was our point guard a lot of tonight in terms of bringing the ball up the floor. Um, she made a three. She had a great move off the spin move off the pass. She had a post up. Um, you know, so I, her potential is limitless. And, you know, I, I want her to feel free on offense. I'm really challenging her, quite frankly, to she can step up in her rebounding and her defense. And she's will be the first to tell you that. But I want her to use all the tools in her toolbox. That's why we were so excited to get her, and is that she's so versatile and so talented, and she puts in the work to create those things. So I think she's been second guessing herself a little bit on offense, and I want her to play disciplined and focused, but free and versatile. And, uh, and I think she took a good step in the right direction on that today. Through the first month of the season, you're now halfway through conference or non conference play. Uh, what are you looking to continue to improve upon uh, before Pac-12 competition begins? Well, you know, taking care of the ball. That's got to be it. We, have, we can't have this many empty possessions uh, and turning the ball over and expect to win in, in really tight games. And you can't give those away. Uh, you know, we, we've been one of the top in the country in that for a number of years, and we need to get back to that really quickly. And so a lot of that is just decision making and learning each other. Um, a little bit in a game like this today, a style of play, how the game is called, but you know we got to adjust to that. Bottom line is we got to find a way to get a good quality shot every time down. I don't expect them to make every shot, but I expect them to get quality shots and to fight for the right things that way. So that's probably my number one priority right now. And then I think you know guarding by ourselves, um, whether or not we're playing out of our zone or playing player to player. Um, when you're guarding somebody, uh, you got to guard. And when we have to rotate and over help, um, we get in scramble situations and we're not as good. And so I would say taking care of the basketball and guarding by ourselves on the defensive end are probably my highest priorities. Last one from Sue Favor. 
looking ahead specifically to next week, you're on the road again at yeah. Arkansas. Yeah. Um, how are you going to prepare for the next matchup? Well, I'm excited. I've really challenged them that on this month, I mean, we're going to have to rise up in our toughness. We're going to have final exams coming up. We've got four cross-country trips in, in, uh, in five weeks. Um, we've got a lot of things. They're tough competitions. Uh, on other people's home courts, and we've got to be embracing that. And we got to lean into the discomfort, we got to lean into the hard, and we got to allow it to bring out different things in us. And um, we're, it's going to challenge our toughness, it's going to force us to go to another level in our mental preparation. And that's really what I'm looking to do is for us to become a tougher team over the next month. Okay. Anything else? No. All right, we're all good. Thank all right, you, thank Coach. You guys. Thank you, guys. Appreciate it.